Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, salutations. So, a federal judge um, just issued a temporary injunction, so to speak, blocking Trump administration officials from preventing unaccompanied immigrant teens in federal custody from getting an abortion. So the female judge um, in the District of Columbia, whose name I won't mention because it's not important, the content on this platform is what's important, not names necessarily. Um, but the, the female judge um, cited during her ruling that Trump administration uh, officials um, are overstepping their bounds and in violation of the United States Constitution by trying to prevent uh, immigrant teens from getting an abortion. Here is the disclaimer, because there are people who are going to hear the following and automatically take it somewhere else. So the disclaimer is that I am 100% in support of people having the right to choose what to do or not to do with their bodies. Um, you know, if you choose that you want to end a pregnancy, while I may not necessarily agree with it, because it's not the choice that I would want anyone expecting a child by me to make, um, I fully support people having the right to choose uh, for themselves. Having said that, here's the reason why I decided to bring this new story to my platform because this platform is not just about uh, here's a new story this is what happened comment like subscribe Nah, this platform is a little bit different this platform is a little bit more a uh, little bit more involved and I like to put my own twist on uh, different content that I bring to this platform and for the people who are going to say that this comparison that I'm getting ready to make is extreme, it is if you're just looking to compare apples to apples. But what I'm comparing here is our principles. And I don't think the extremity of one versus the other on either side of the spectrum really makes that much of a difference. So here's the comparison. First, before I do that, um, I think we start to get into murky waters when the government tries to interject into the decision making of individuals choosing what, when, where, and how they can, should, shouldn't, or, or want to, or don't want to do with their bodies. Um, you know, I think that we're getting extremely close uh, to um, uh, a, a, a tyrannical government when decisions start to, to, to be made uh, where people are being told what they can and can't do with their bodies. Um, so, so that I think is a slippery slope and that's why I, I will have to always err on the side of being in support of people making their own decisions, um, especially decisions that will affect you know, their lives. Um, but here's the comparison. And like, comment, subscribe. Um, definitely give me your feedback and let me know what you think about the following. Here's the extreme comparison. I find it interesting. I find it very interesting that the United States government, for the most part, you know, barring this, this situation, but I find it interesting that there's protection under the Constitution for a person. You know, let's not say female. Let's just say person. Choosing if they want to end a pregnancy, if they you know, want to abort that pregnancy for whatever reason. And the, and the Constitution protects that female from being able to do that, even if they're a teenager. Um, and that same government implement laws that prohibit that same teenager from, let's say, 
getting a tattoo or a body piercing under the legal age or even consuming you know purchasing or consuming nicotine or t nicotine tobacco alcohol here's why it's not a not an extreme comparison for the trolls if the premise is that consuming alcohol consuming nicotine um, you know cons consuming uh, tobacco and or you know wanting to get a tattoo or body piercing if the premise is that because you're under the legal age you're not yet possessive of the mental capacity to make those types of decisions how is it that you as a teenager have the mental capacity to make a decision that results in ending the life of an unborn baby and also changing your life forever because I can't think of any regret that would hit harder for the people who have abortions and later regret them I can't think of any regret that would be higher than that you're ending the life of your unborn child um, you know that's that's that ranks way higher in my opinion you know, as someone who has been in a previous life relationship with a person who ended a pregnancy that was also my child. So I can speak firsthand on what that regret looks and feels like. And far greater than uh, someone getting a body piercing that they could say, I don't know why the fuck I got this shit, and you could just take it out six months from now when you're done with it or you can get a tattoo covered up or removed or you know whatever the case but a pregnancy even as a teenager you can make that decision even without the consent of a parent and that's perfectly fine so is it solely just because it's your right to choose what's growing inside of your body I'd like to know what your thoughts and feedback are on that I'm not disputing I'm not saying I agree or disagree. I'm just putting it out there because it's something that I thought about when I was reading this news story. And, you know, when I think about shit and keeping with the true fashion of this platform, I bring it to you all so that you can uh, kind of mull it over, you know, let me know, uh, you know, where you guys stand in relation to where I stand. But here's the real crux of, of the issue here. This Trump administration really doing some blatant shit. I mean, they're really overstepping their boundaries in more ways than one. And um, I'm glad to an extent that this federal judge did block um, what the Trump administration officials were trying to do and, and by stopping these immigrant teenagers from getting abortions. I mean, it seems like this president feels like he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do because he's president and there's nobody that can challenge or object in any way, shape, or form. Because now that this federal judge has issued only this temporary block, now the uh, Trump administration is, is, is uh, trying to get the, the U.S. Supreme Court to vacate that, that order, that decision. And we'll see how that plays out. I'm sure there'll be another headline or new story about it in the coming months or next year or two years from now. Because these things, there's a lot of red tape and these things take a while. Here's my other point. Again, maybe extreme, maybe off base, I don't know. But I have to keep with the true fashion of this platform. And when some quirky shit pops into my head, I kind of got to bring it to the, to the main stage. Um... If you're not a United States citizen, if you're an immigrant, refugee, however you want to classify it, seeking asylum for one reason or the other, because I was looking at, so when I read a news story, I also go to the comments, people who have also read the news story and see you know, what their thoughts on and where they stand on either side of that subject matter or issue. And there was a lot of ignorant comments and some people actually had some pretty decent uh, 
points of view. Some people were saying that, you know, the, that they supported this federal judge because a lot of these teams, a very, very decent number of them, are seeking asylum, f trying to escape from sex trafficking rings and that they're victims of, um, or, you know, they're victims of rape or, you know, what have you, and they're trying to seek asylum here and they don't want any reminders or, or want to birth a child that was a product of rape. 100% uh, agree. You know, I have no issue with that whatsoever. Um, and who's to really know what number, you know, is that versus what number isn't that? There's really no way to know. And so that's why I say I err on the side of caution, you know, and I always err on the side of being in support of people choosing to do whatever it is they want to do with their bodies because you don't know what it is that's motivating a person's decision. Because I would imagine that even for the worst person, you know, even for a person with the worst character, you know, making the decision to end a pregnancy, to end a, a, a life that is growing inside of you, you know, that's not an easily made decision. You know, that has to weigh heavily on the person doing it. And of course, there probably are, there definitely are, your your far and few, few and far in between situations where a person just doesn't give a fuck and just doesn't want to have a baby because they're selfish, so they end the pregnancy. But I'd like to believe that the majority of, of people who get abortions in their pregnancies think long and hard about it and they they make what they feel is, is the right decision for whatever reason. Um, but here's my question. And again, this is not my position. This is not my thought process. This is just a question because this platform is just about me bringing questions. And then I say that every time I issue these disclaimers and then there's always a troll or there's always someone who listens to part of a sentence or part of a statement or even listens to the whole goddamn vlog and still comments and, and specifically says exactly what I say that I'm not saying. And that's the part that they comment on. So again, this is not my position. This is not how I feel. I'm just asking the question because it always confuses me and I don't pretend to be, I tell you guys all the time, I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know and that's what I talk about. I'm not a constitution expert. I'm not a CNN analyst or anything of that nature. You know, I'm just an everyday person, comes across situations, and I try to articulate those situations the best way that I know how, and I bring them to you all so that we can talk shit about it back and forth, you know, what through comments and what have you. The question is, do illegal, uh, do non-citizens, and be a little bit PC here, do non-US citizens have constitutional rights? This has always confused me. I don't know if this is a situation where it's, you know, the US Constitution is for uh, citizens and those who are naturalized. Um, but if you're someone seeking citizenship or seeking a green card, or seeking asylum, or refuge or whatever the case, but you're a citizen of another country, is it once you land here, automatically you have constitutional law? That part I never understood. And I wonder if that is the premise or the argument when people from other countries come over here um, and they're blocked, you know, for one reason or another from different things. Because I want to be fair, you know, and I try to play devil's advocate and I genuinely, honestly, don't know. Um, should that be the case if it is? You know, if there are citizens, if there are veterans, if there are homeless people, if there are people in poverty already here, homegrown, born and raised, that are not being afforded every opportunity for help and support that they, are, that they should be, but then there are people coming over from other countries seemingly being granted more opportunities, uh, more support than people right here at home. Is that right? Should that be the case? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. 
I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love.